Benton Blandon and Vinny is covering new rules that the governor has put in place to try and stop cases from rising. Vinny. Right now, Corey, people over here in East St. Louis and other places across our region might be thinking about going out for Friday night cocktails or dinner. Well, with the governor's new rules, they'll have to mask up. And if they don't, it could be the businesses getting into trouble. We're going to uh, be popping up on them. We're going to make some rounds. If we see calls of somebody being uh, unsafe or social distancing. East St. Louis Police Chief Kendall Perry is good with Governor J.B. Pritzker's rule to enforce mask wearing in businesses. It's something that's got to be done. You know, we have to stay safe. It's our job to protect the city and protect the community. Whether it's fighting crime or COVID-19, the governor's rule for businesses to enforce the wearing of masks does not send police after individuals. Because the vast majority of communities and business owners have done the right thing and followed the public health guidance. These rules will help ensure that the minority of people who refuse to act responsibly. Police will give first time violators a written warning. If a violation is recorded a second time, the business will receive an order to adjust the size of people inside their venue. And third time violators will get a class A misdemeanor with fines from $75 to $2,500. One major challenge is not technically a actual law. So, um, we're kind of asking the city, the community, and the businesses to be in compliance, but it's not something that's written to where they have to be. The governor also signed legislation today announcing workplace precautions, and he also extended paid disability leave by 60 days for first responders who were hurt after March 9, 2020, whose recovery has been delayed since the coronavirus pandemic started. Reporting live in East St. Louis, Benson Blandon, News 4. New at 5 tonight, Broadway Oyster Bar in downtown St. Louis now temporarily.